Have you ever wondered how Sound Transit's link light rail tunnels are built? It starts with a tunnel boring machine called a TBM. The TBM is an amazing underground factory. Highly skilled miners, at times working 300 feet below the surface, keep the machinery running smoothly. A TBM weighs about 345 tons and is made of three parts. At the front is the cutter head. This huge grinding piece is about 21 feet in diameter and digs through the earth at up to 4 inches per minute. Up next is the shield. The shield holds the equipment needed to erect the tunnel's lining made of concrete rings. The hydraulic cylinders of the machine push off the concrete rings, moving the TBM forward. The cylinders push the machine ahead 5 feet before another concrete ring is erected. An erector picks up each ring segment and places it in position. This procedure continues until each of the six segments forming one ring are in place. Building one five-foot ring can take as little as 15 minutes. The tunnel's concrete rings are transported into the TBM by supply trains. Finally, there's the trailing gear which is towed by the shield and holds the equipment necessary to support the tunnel excavation. This is also where the TBM operator station is located where the operator steers the massive machine. Excavated dirt passes through the openings in the cutter head. Foam added to the excavated material turns it into a paste that is removed by a screw conveyor. The dirt is then transferred to the conveyor belt that transports it out the tunnel. A tunnel boring machine is amazingly accurate. A sophisticated laser guidance system and skilled surveyors help the operator stay on course. After digging underground for months, a TBM will arrive at its destination within millimeters, or about a dime's width of its target. At the end of its journey, which can be miles from where it started, the TBM finally digs through into its destination, where it is taken apart. Besides the sophisticated TBM, old-fashioned hand digging is also part of any light rail tunnel. Because trains run in two directions, two tunnels are needed. Miners must hand dig cross passages between those tunnels. These passages provide emergency exits once the trains are running. Cross passage construction may also require work at the surface for short periods of time at each location. With the tunnel boring complete and the permanent rails, lighting and safety features in place, the tunnel is ready for trains and passengers.